morning YouTube. Thought I would pick up the camera and do a little vlog today. I actually wanna do redo my nails in today's video. I figured instead of doing like a dedicated nail video, because there are so many great videos out there that you can learn from. I thought I would just incorporate this into a vlog because I'm not a professional by any means. This is gonna be only my second time doing dip on myself and I've just been loving dip powders. It's probably my favorite method of doing my nails, more so than the Gelix method that I have been doing for the past year or so and have absolutely loved. But everybody is still sleeping so I'm trying to be a little bit quieter. I already made myself cup of coffee, put my packet of collagen in here, just been reading, sitting here, enjoying this quiet, wonderful, beautiful morning. So I thought, let me pick up the camera, I wanna do my nails and vlog today. So if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. But if not, this probably isn't the video for you. I have everything here that I need to do a dip fill. This is my gonna be my second time doing a dip fill and it's gonna be my third time using the having my nails done using dip powder so back in april when i visited family my sister and i went to go get our nails done and we both got dip powder using i got we both got tips actually so they glued on like a tip onto my natural nail and then he did dip powder uh with a yellow tip like a clear clear base with a yellow tip almost like a french manicure look and i absolutely loved it very springy and then it, like a few weeks later it was obviously time to either do a fill or take them off and I thought let me try doing a dip powder fill I've never used dip powder in my entire life and I was actually pretty surprised how user friendly it can be so if you've never used dip powder this is me saying that if I can do it I feel like almost anyone can do it because I'm not a professional but I do love like DIYs obviously DIY lashes DIY nails trying new things learning doing my own hair extensions you name it I will probably try it so I was sent this double dip premium nail liquid kit here from Double Dip. It has everything that you need to get started. Let me actually open it. Other than the dip powder itself, they do sell this on Amazon as well. It has the dip base, the activator, the top, and then a brush cleaner if you want to clean your brushes if they get hard from all the other products and all that stuff. I have my Melody Susan e-file, e-drill, whatever you want to call it. Have this for a few years. Very affordable. Got it on Amazon. Still works great. Comes with the different attachments and replacement heads and things like that. Um, I have my cuticle oil and then I want to do, these are actually from Double Dip as well. So the first time that I did a dip fill, I used Double Dip powders in these cute little pastel springy colors. Um, but this time I want to do something similar to what I had the first time around, like a clear base and maybe do a colored, colored tip. So I bought a clear dip powder, a transparent dip powder on Amazon and I'm going to give this a try. Seems like your typical clear dip powder. And like I said, it was actually, I was pleasantly surprised with how easy it was to do a fill. So some of my nails are lifting, like this one you can see. It is lifting when I go like this, you can see the cuticle kind of like pops up. So I'm gonna have to fix all of that. But when I did a fill the first time, what I did is I filed down the first, I think like I would say one or two coats. So I don't, I don't file it down all the way to my bare nail. I leave like the base one or two layers as well as the tip if you have any lifting you're gonna have to file those areas away completely otherwise it can interfere with your next set um, and this process is probably the most time consuming because you're literally just going to be filing away it can be messy i'm going to show a little bit of it on camera so you guys can get an idea do have like a little cloth right here to catch all of the stuff that all of the shavings whatever you want to call it So that actually took forever. Uh, some of the nails, like for example, this one right here, I did about three to four layers, you can tell, of dip powder. You can tell that it even looks a little bit bulkier versus this one right here. And because I am doing a transparent powder, I wanna get all of that blue off. I don't want it to peak, any of it to peak underneath. Whereas if you're using a colored dip powder, you don't really need to be concerned about that. Um, you're just gonna color that other color back up with the next dip powder. 
so I it took a while to file this down. I'm not gonna lie, definitely way longer than the first time around. Basically filed it down almost to the bare minimum at this point and <laughs> left the tip as you can tell right here. So let me go ahead and file the rest of them, wash my hands and then pop back on here to continue the process. Right, here's the end result here. I ended up shaping them a little bit as well. One thing that I also wanted to note is that when you do file them down to do a dip fill, you wanna make sure that from the cuticle to the tip, there's no like hump where your natural nail um, ends and the dip powder starts. You wanna make sure it's like a smooth transition. Okay, now onto the fun part. This process is actually smooth sailing for the most part and you know, very straightforward and pretty easy in my opinion, even for a beginner like myself. What you do is you take the dip base. It's a very sticky solution. And wherever you get this base is where the powder is gonna adhere to. So if you make sure you don't get it on your skin or on your nails or anything like that, but wherever you apply this, the dip powder will stick to it. The first time that you apply it, you want to kind of apply it three quarters of the way away from the cuticle. That way, that way your cuticle is not too thick. And the second or third times that you do it, you're gonna apply it a hairline away from the cuticle. I should have opened this earlier. And then you just dip it into your dip powder at a 45 degree angle, like so. Tap off a little bit of the excess. Let that kind of sit on your nail for 30 seconds or so, and then use a brush to brush off the excess. And the second or third time that you go in, you might wanna apply a little bit more of that dip base. The dip powder does absorb a lot of that um, dip base. And this time I'm gonna go a hairline away from the cuticle. I think I'm gonna have to do three coats of this. And then immediately dip it into your dip powder at a 45 degree angle. This is what it looks like before I brush off the excess. Now I'm gonna go in a third time. I'm just gonna go through and do the other nails. I'm just using a clean eyeshadow brush. I don't have any other brush. Such is life, just make sure that it's clean. This is what it looks like with just the clear base without me um, going through any of the other steps. And now on to the next step, which is the activator. And this is what hardens the dip powder. This is one of very this is a very necessary step. You just kind of apply it over the top. And within 30 seconds or less, the dip kind of hardens. And you'll be able to tell by tapping it and pressing it to make sure it's not sticky, make sure it's dried down. And now before you go into the dip top coat, this is where you wanna go in and file them down, shape them, buff them, and give them you know, the shape that you want. If you got it on the cuticle, you wanna clean it up, on the skin, anything like that, this is the time when you wanna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shape them just a little bit. I'm, I do this process with a hand file just because I feel like I have a little bit more control. So I'm gonna go through and kind of like shape, shape them a little bit more and then buff the tops to make sure that they're nice and smooth and not bumpy because otherwise once you apply the top coat, it's it's gonna show any like uneven unevenness in the top top layer. The nails are all shaped, buffed, filed, all that good stuff. I actually like how these look. It looks very um, I don't know. It's like very natural looking. Really like this look. But now for the last step, which is the dip top coat, you go through, apply it to all of the nails, let it sit for two minutes, and then go in and apply a second coat, let that sit for two minutes and you are essentially done. All right, so that's layer number one. Let that set for about two minutes or so and then go in second time. I don't know, I'm like really liking the supernatural look and then when I decide what nail design I wanna do, we'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Hey guys, it has been a couple of days at this point and I actually had an entire clip 
explaining how I did, how I was going to do this design here, but I was going through because my card was full and I accidentally deleted that entire clip. So I'm popping back on here to kind of reiterate everything that I said in that clip that I deleted. So I went ahead and did this really pretty yellow, like a dandelion yellow, sunshine yellow nail tip design. And I used nail polishes from Nail Addict, Nail Addict, but they have since rebranded to Nail Reserve. And they did give me a special code. I think it's like Tash50, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check. Yes, so the code is Tash50, and you get 50% off if you buy two or more gel polishes. But it does not work if they have automatic promotions on the website. So I'll leave the link for these nail polishes down below. Seems like a very well-rounded gel polish brand. I mean, I've done this one on my daughter, this electric red. It's like a really cool neon pink. I know it's called electric red, but it's such a fun neon summer color it would actually be really great as like a pedicure color on the toes i think that would be really cute and then there's this best of summer right here which is like a neon purple of sorts really pretty as well and then there's just a flirt in this beautiful summer yellow dandelion sunshine yellow right here and this is perfect for the design that i was going for so i did like these cute little daisies a little tip i will include clips of how i did it very simple i used nail brushes that i had off of amazon so i'll link everything down below that i used but i just accidentally deleted the clip talking about what i was going to do so i didn't want to transition into those clips and not explaining you know what was going on other thing i will say is that it can be very tricky doing gel designs or any kind of gel polish on top of a dip because the dip is so smooth you do want to kind of kind of file it rough it up a little bit just keep that in mind you're better off just using dip on dip but if you are going to use gel polish on top of dip make sure you buff that top layer and make sure that it's not smooth otherwise the gel is literally going to peel off like a sticker that kind of sums up what i wanted to say i will link everything that i talked about down below and i'm kind of going to just include the clips of me showing this and finish the video like that but i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching